This is 7 National News and in our top story. The UAE and Russia signed an agreement on Monday for cooperation in the use of nuclear energy for peaceful purposes. The agreement was signed by the UAE's Deputy Energy Minister Mohammed bin Zayn Al Hamli and Sergei Kiryenko, the head of the Russian nuclear cooperation Rosatom. According to local reports, Kiryenko said that the agreement encompasses cooperation in all areas of nuclear energy, including uranium mining and processing, fuel production, research and building nuclear power plants. He added that it lays the legal groundwork for technology transfers and the delivery of nuclear materials to the energy sector. The UAE will continue to further fortify the safety and security of citizens and residents in order to become the safest and most secure country in the world by 2021, according to a senior Dubai police official. According to a local report, Lieutenant General Dahi Kalfan Tamim, Dubai's police chief, made his comments at the first annual conference of the Emirates Strategic Planning Association. Dahi spelled out 20 21 goals, which he said the country can achieve by 2021. These include being the country with the top level of human rights in the world, with the safest roads, marine routes and airways, as well as the most secure financial markets, the best environment security, the best tourist destinations, the best human resources, as well as the country with the least drug-related crimes, the least corruption and the lowest unemployment rate. Dahi said the UAE currently ranks fourth among the safest and most secure countries in the world. The Dubai police chief stressed the nation will continue to excel in upholding its foremost duty to protect citizens from all threats to their safety, whether internal or external. A Dubai-based technology company is urging women and children to be more observant while accessing various social media sites, specifically on their smartphones, as they are easy prey for cyber criminals. The majority of networking activities are carried out online on smartphones. However, such access to various websites and personal accounts are making it easier for internet stalkers to target victims, especially women and children. IT professionals from Condo Protego, a company that focuses on internet security and protection, stated that in less than five minutes, malicious software such as spyware can be installed on smartphones, allowing stalkers to listen remotely to the phone's surroundings, intercept calls, track text messaging, and collect private information about users without their knowledge. The company CEO, Andrew Callthorpe, says that users should not rush to exchange details about themselves with strangers on sites such as Facebook, Twitter or LinkedIn. Hackers are becoming smarter because they're targeting smartphones. People are a lot more aware of potential attacks on laptops, especially in an office environment. But on smartphones, people are a lot more trusting and, uh, and you know, they're doing things which are probably more social side rather than work side on their smartphones and uh, you know they're, they're not taking as much care as they would do at work you know, or in a work environment. On a, on a smartphone or a, in a social media environment you're, you're getting requests and things all the time from people that you don't know or, or maybe you think you know you're not sure and, and you let your guard down and, and you know anything can happen. Uh, if you look at this part of the world you probably find that you know, more men in this part of the world are working and in a working environment they are used to taking a more secure approach. Um, perhaps there are more women in this part of the world specifically that are not working and therefore haven't had that conditioning when they're looking at males and, and other things coming in. The process of booking an appointment with a medical expert is now easier. Rather than trusting word-of-mouth recommendations from friends and families, residents across the Emirates can access a list of specialists on Dr. Una, a new medical directory. 200 doctors across various fields, including gynecology, paediatrics, dentistry, dermatology, among others, as well as 50 clinics, are currently 
listed on the website. By simply visiting the online portal, patients are able to search for specialists and book immediate appointments directly with the healthcare facilities 24 seven. Any uncertainties are clarified by practitioners' profiles where their experience, qualification, and most importantly, a license provided by the local health authority is available. The CEO of Dr. Una, Yasen Dalau, believes that by having a transparent platform such as this allows clients to make more informed decisions. So we at Dr. Una visit every single doctor individually. We are very rigorous in our diligence. We make sure we always have current uh, licenses and permits so that the doctor's there to operate. We're also really looking for the best doctors for every specialty. So that's another reassurance. We only want the best, the best people to give choice to the patients that we have. The website, available both in Arabic and English, aims to be present throughout the Middle East by the end of next year and eventually across the GCC region. You know, I'm really excited that we've got 200 doctors already. Uh, the plan is to roll out across the whole of the Middle East by the uh, end of next year. Initially, we're going to be rolling out to Cairo, Amman and to Beirut and then to Saudi, Kuwait and then to the rest of the MENA region. So by the end of next year, I'm hoping that we are completely across the region. Etihad Cargo, a division of Etihad Airways, has launched the Etihad Kabayan Box, a dedicated personal freight service for the 500,000 strong Filipino expatriate community currently living in the UAE. The new service will allow Filipinos to send by air to Manila up to 20 kilograms for 150 dirhams and up to 50 kilograms for 350 dirhams. Grace Roluccio Princesa, the Philippine ambassador to the UAE, has welcomed the Etihad Kabayan box service. Additionally, while the service is for personal belongings only, there is no restriction on the number of Etihad Kabayan boxes that may be booked. And Dubai's taxi services have come in at the number three spot globally out of 40 cities, according to the latest poll. TripAdvisor, the world's largest travel site, released their cities survey, which was based on over 75,000 responses, revealing that Tokyo came in at the number one spot, followed by Singapore and then by Dubai. Tokyo was ranked number one for best taxi services, friendliest taxi drivers, best public transportation, cleanest streets and safety, while Dubai came in at third for both its taxi service as well as being a shopper's paradise. And up next we will have the day's business news, so stay with us.